Mortgage rates retreated a little bit last week, but then they turned right back around on Friday and are now bumping back up against six. Take a look at the average rate on the 30-year fix. Going back to April, it headed over 5% retreated a little bit in May, and then surged above 6% in June. That was after that 75 basis point increase in the federal funds rate. And while mortgage rates don't follow that exactly, they are, of course, influenced by it. Mortgage rates loosely follow the yield on the 10-year Treasury. Now, last week, as the stock market recovered a bit, yields came down and rates followed with the 30-year fix back below 6%. Now it's on the rise again, hitting 5.95% just today. And while we know the jump is already hitting housing demand, this morning we got the first hint that home prices may be starting to cool. The S&P Case-Shiller National Home Price Index for April still up about 20%, but the annual gain was slightly lower than it was in March. That's the first time we've seen that since last November. Given that this is from April when rates had just crossed over that 5% line again, all indicators are that prices will cool much more in the coming months, especially since inventory for houses is now up 21 percent from a year ago. That, according to Realtor.com, we're seeing more price drops from sellers as well. And competition is certainly cooling. Kelly. Yep. And just like we saw last time, maybe with rates back on the rise, that'll actually spur more activity to get ahead of it. But we'll see. Diana, thank you for now. Diana Ole.